In this video, let's review two different types of special triangles, the 30, 60, 90 triangle and the isosceles triangle. So here is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. The 30, 60, 90 triangle is seen over and over again throughout many years of math, so it's definitely something worth memorizing. Note that since one of the angles is a 90 degree angle, this is indeed a right angled triangle. Now across from the 30 degree angle is a length of 1. Across from the 60 degree angle is a length of square root of 3. And finally, the hypotenuse has a length of 2, which is across from the 90 degree angle. It's worth keeping in mind, however, that the 30, 60, 90 triangle side lengths that we memorize are just ratios. So that's 1 to square root of 3 to 2. For example, let's say we're given a triangle with a side length of 10 for the side that's opposite to the 30 degree angle. In this case, since that's 10 times more than the one on the 30, 60, 90 triangle, we should multiply all of the ratios by 10 as well in order to get the same triangle to scale. And there you have it. You know how to find the length of a triangle given just one of the lengths and the angles since you'd know the proportions that each side would be. The next special triangle we will look at is the isosceles triangle, which consists of angles 45, 45, 90. This triangle will have side length proportions of 1 to 1 to square root of 2. So if we were given a triangle with these angles and were provided with just one side length of 4 centimeters across from the 45 degree angle, then the other leg would obviously be 4 centimeters in length. The hypotenuse would also be multiplied by 4, and if we wanted to show that in the entire radical form, then we would just square it and put it under the root sign, multiplying it by 2 to give us root 32. Great! So make sure you try to memorize these special triangles and their ratios for their side lengths, since these will be used over and over again in various concepts throughout mathematics. But that's it for this video guys, and we will see you in the next lesson.